Hello, my name is Eric Dubay, and I'm a flat earther. Contrary to what you have been told to believe about me by the mainstream media, the government education system, and society in general, I am not an idiot, uneducated, or a religious zealot. I am a college graduate, spent seven years teaching at a prestigious university, have published five books, and I'm not a follower of any religion. I was once a spinning ball earth believer like yourself. In fact, the only difference between spinning ball earthers and flat earthers is that flat earthers have done their research. Of course, however, you will be told the opposite, that flat earthers are uneducated morons, unaware of modern scientific theories, but the reality is every flat earther is well educated regarding the spinning ball earth fantasy presented by NASA, taught in schools, and accepted as gospel truth by the gullible masses. In fact, you will find the average flat earther is far more knowledgeable about the spinning ball earth we are supposedly living on than the average spinning ball earth believer. This is because flat earthers are all people who attempted to prove for themselves whether or not earth is the way modern scientific and astronomical theory preaches, and discovered that it most certainly is not. There are hundreds of proofs and scientific experiments which have conclusively shown the earth to be a stationary plane, but you have never and will never hear about these heavily censored experiments in our controlled media. You never hear of the Mickelson-Morley, Mickelson-Gale, Sagnac, Cantor, and Airy experiments, for example, all of which proved the Earth to be motionless. You also never hear of the Robotham, Blunt, or Carpenter experiments, all of which proved the Earth to be a level plane devoid of any curvature. Instead, you are repeatedly shown NASA images of a spinning ball Earth and astronauts in zero-g space. You are told the oceans curve around and stick to the underside of a spinning ball thanks to Newton's magical gravity. You are told Eratosthenes measured shadows to prove the ball, and Magellan circumnavigated the ball. Again, us flat earthers are well aware of the supposed proofs and alleged evidence we are given regarding the spinning ball earth fantasy. The difference is, we have further analyzed these supposed proofs and found glaring holes in them even larger than the size of NASA's annual budget. I have personally debunked every such claim of supposed spinning ball earth evidence I could find in my book The Flat Earth Conspiracy, and also compiled 200 proofs Earth is not a spinning ball in my book of the same title. I will not reiterate myself here, as you can read these online for free now in over a dozen languages. But suffice to say, there is no aspect of the spinning globe model that stands up to critical scrutiny, and every alleged proof offered is easily refuted. The spinning globe, and every argument used to defend it, is simply pseudoscience masquerading as truth. The pictures and videos presented to the public by NASA and other government space agencies are as real as a Hollywood motion picture, and as scientific as science fiction. Science facts, on the other hand, prove the flat earth. For example, it is the natural physics of all fluids to remain perfectly level and flat until disturbed in some way. If dammed up and released, all liquids will quickly disperse in every unobstructed direction until finding their new level. This ever-present, never-broken law of physics is so reliable that builders use water spirit levels to level all their constructions. When you look out at the sea horizon, from as high as amateur balloons and rockets have ever gone, the water line always remains completely level and flat. If, however, the Earth is a spinning ball as NASA and modern astronomy claim, then somehow the massive oceans must all in defiance of physics curve thousands of miles around an irregular pear-shaped oblate spheroid. In reality, measurements have been repeatedly taken throughout history until modern times using lasers, levels, sextants, and theodolites to test for the Earth's supposed curvature, and every time have proven what our eyes and experience tell us to be true. The Earth simply does not curve downwards eight inches per mile squared, as dictated by spherical trigonometry and NASA's own calculations for a globe Earth 24,900 miles in equatorial circumference. This mythical curvature exists only in the fisheye lens footage they constantly film and the fake CG images of Earth they constantly propagate. Now, dear spinning ball Earth believer, 
There is much more you must learn, and even more that you must unlearn, to understand fully the depth of this deception. It will take more than just a few minutes of flat-earth research to overcome a lifetime of indoctrination. But I implore you to do just that. Try and prove to yourself whether or not the spinning ball earth we are taught to believe since kindergarten is in fact a reality. I can speak on behalf of every flat earther when I say that's exactly what we did. We did our due diligence in researching and proving one way or the other whether this seemingly flat, motionless plane we all stand upon is actually a tilting, wobbling, rotating and revolving, pear-shaped oblate spheroid hurtling around the sun. Or whether everything is actually just as it seems. Water always remains level and flat. The horizon always remains level and flat. The earth is motionless, just as it seems, and the sun, moon, and stars all revolve over and around us, just as it appears. I encourage you to please explore this fascinating subject for yourself by viewing the many other Flat Earth documentaries and interviews on my YouTube channel and visiting the International Flat Earth Research Society at ifers.123.st. Thank you.